it's about 4.30 in the morning and we just left the UK and we're heading for France. We have Dover over here and Calais over there and the ferries are crossing pretty quick between us. There is three ferries that just been crossing in front of us. So there's two that just left Dover going to France. I feel very small when those big things come past us. They're pretty quick, eh? Look at the bow wave, it's just flying over the front. We better get the flag out so they know we're immigrants. So we come around onto a good heading and we can cross the TSS. We have to cross it at 90 degrees. And this is the TSS, the purple line there. And you have the ships that go south coming up there. So it doesn't look too busy at the moment. So it should be a good time to try to get across. No, there's absolutely no wind. We've got 1.6 knots. We are just on our way south to uh, Dieppe at the moment and we have both our head sails up and are going uh, wing on wing. With two head sails, we couldn't be bothered with the main because the wind's only pretty light. It's 10 knots from behind. But yeah, it's nice and flat seas. So we're planning on spend, uh, we're planning on <laughs> spending a few days in the Dieppe. Uh, we've heard it's a pretty cute little town, and I think the marina is like right next to the kind of old part of the town, so it should be pretty cozy. Looks like we have some rain clouds over here on the horizon. Dieppe is directly ahead of us. Dieppe port. This is sailing vessel Beaver. Over. <laughs> yes, the vessel for the port. Yes, you have the permission. Uh, the ferry uh, is leaving just now. And uh, the stranger Christopher is, is working. Merci, madame. Pretty daunting looking wall when you see how high the water actually comes. We've uh, just arrived in Dieppe. We had a bit of a nightmare entry, I would say. We were talking shit, <laughs> and we ran over a ran over a fishing float. What the fuck? We just hit. What is it? A crab pot? Fishing float. Fishing. It's very embarrassing. Like it had a big flag on it, and we should have seen it. Like it just scraped along the side of the boat. Just a little tap. I don't think we'll do that again no we should be like we're both sitting there looking but we weren't paying attention so we should learn a couple of lessons from it is it at low tide now at the lowest oh, it's getting close yeah I think it's about eight meters of tide in here and um, it springs at the moment too <laughs> you can kind of see the high tide mark up just down here and yeah it's a it's a big drop What do you think of France? It's so nice. Look at it. Look at the cliffs over there. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. There's a really cool little uh, castle yeah. up in the background there. It's all Just there. there. We're going to go explore a bit more tomorrow. Oh, 
Oh shit. Do you see that? I'm gonna put my wetsuit on and jump in off the back of the boat. Have a look at the prop and the rudder just to make sure nothing went wrong when we hit the uh, hit the float the other day. Could you see it clearly? No, not really. You gotta be like this far away to see anything clear. Do you want the GoPro just to have a proper look at it after? So I didn't think there was anything originally, but there was actually a couple of marks on the rudder, just where some rope has kind of been pulled around. It just rubbed off some anti-fouling, like there's no damage or anything. now uh, we're on our way to Brest kind of uh, looping in between the Channel Islands as you can see on my hair today too it's been quite windy and salty have about 15 to 18 knots of wind at the moment and we are on a broad bridge with both the Genoa and the main the DSC has been going off today there's been like I think five or six May days and pan pan has sustained a possible fire with four persons on board. Cool lifeboat now on scene with casualty. Windy in the hour, we got like 20, 24 knots. But it's like perfect direction, we're just reaching. Lindsay's just there, still behind us. And we're going through the night. We should be arriving in the morning, closer to the entrance to the channel. But it's like perfect conditions for, you know, kind of downwindish sailing. So, should be there nice and quick. 